OK, progress report on my horn guides. Uh, I'm on the last face now, cleaning the last face up. I've done these, th these three. They're complete now. I've just got this last one to do. And how I'm going about this... Um, On the leg, the short leg that fits up to the frame, I'm gonna. What I'm doing, I'm putting that up to my fixed jaw of my vice. There's many methods you could do this, I suppose, but this is the method I'm using. I've clocked my vice jaw up to check that it's uh, level with the machine, and it's within half a thou from one end of jaw to other. So, I'm putting the short leg of the horn guide on the fixed jaw with a little bit overhanging the vise so I can able to measure it with micrometer. And then the movable jaw, I'm fitting this round bar in. Like that. Just so the movable jaw doesn't try to cock, cock the uh, the horn guide over, because obviously with it, with it being a movable jaw, there's a bit of play in the jaw, so it may tend to to rock the horn guide. But by putting this round bar in, that'll uh, alleviate that problem. And then I'm just tapping it on to fix jaw. Make sure, make sure it's clean. Make sure it's uh, locating onto jaw. Then, with my depth micrometer, I can measure them from, from the face to the jaw to get me required dimension of 3 sixteenths thick. And just as a double check, I can uh, put my micrometer on the end and, and also do a, a quick double check on that, on that end. When I've just gone over the surface to level it up, I'm then going to take increments of 40 thou cuts till I get down to my thickness. 40 thou for my machine is about on its limitation with this cutter in. I think I'll take a measurement now I've done a couple of roughing cuts.
So I'll take my measure measurement with me in uh, depth micrometer. And I'm uh, measuring on to top of vice jaw, which I've already clocked up. Right, there's half a thou difference from one end to other. Don't don't forget that's my roughing cut though. When I when I've taken a finishing cut, that'll come out. So I've got um, eleven. 50 plus 11, 61 thou to come off. Uh, probably do that in uh, two or three cuts. Right, I'm on my final cut now. I've got five thousandths to take off this face. I've just measured it up and uh, there's a quarter thou difference between each end and I'm happy with that. So I've just got five thousandths of an inch to take off finishing cut. That should be my last cut. Yeah, quarter of thou difference from one end to other, and I'm down to my size now. Point one, point one eight seven thousandths. Uh, just one other thing to do. While I've got it in the machine, I'm going to just skim this. I'm just going to skim this uh, this side up. That's it. Home guard's completed on uh, on those four anyway. I've got two others to make and I'm uh, going to fabricate them because I've got the um, the 
the cast iron I said I'd got earlier on in a previous clip it's not quite long enough to make another set of well another set of two of these because these are going to be chopped in half to make four so I'm going to fabricate the others and uh, I'll continue with that now <laughs> 